Great day, great day, great day, man. Look, it was a struggle getting up this morning, but I got up. I took a break from uh, running for two days. I just chilled this weekend. I don't get my mind ready for um, the class that I had to do this weekend, the warrior training. And um, I just took a break. So I get up this morning. Struggle through my smile, but I get it done. I matter of fact, I get an hour worth of it done. And um, then I go out and do a run, and my legs feeling heavy. I, I want y'all to follow me on this one. My legs feeling heavy, and I'm like, man, this is going to be a horrible mile. This is going to be a horrible mile. And um, I, I make it past the usual point where my five-minute alarm goes off, and the alarm don't go off, so I'm running, and I'm almost 0 .62, 0 .62 miles before I get the five-minute mark. So I'm sitting up here thinking I was running slow, but in actuality, I'm doing um, one of the best times that I might have ever did, have done. I mean, you know, it's 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 up there. You know, not that my miles are, are that great, but they're great for me. And uh, this was one of the better miles, so... I was like, wow, you know, so I get home, and I'm hearing the birds chirp, and I snapped the picture that those of you have been following me on Facebook see, um, and I want you to start noticing how it changes. We are officially in spring, and the, the, the sadness of spring is that in order for all these things to start growing, there needs to be a death. Um, the trees have already paid their price they suffered through winter um, the leaves are gone they look hunted and they have already died many of the new seeds in the ground right now are going through the death rows and what happens is something that I call nature's mathematics these things die so that they could be reborn but not only come back as one but return as many their value their value is that in sacrificing they bring back more you know so I mean that that nature mathematics is is incredible you plant one seed and get dozens dozens of seeds back and I want you to keep that in mind. I want you to watch the tree that I'm taking a picture of and watch how the light behind it starts to fade. I want you to watch how the, the, the buds start to sprout and how the sunlight starts to bathe it earlier and earlier. All right? Because this is our progress on this journey. This is our progress. This is this is an illustration. And many of us, because we fear the concept of death, we only could go so far. Now, let me say this, and I, I want to be very clear. One of the symbols for the Giami Nation Builders, for, for Giami, for the Giami tribe, is the phoenix. You can see that on, on my, little, my little icon that I got up there. It's the phoenix. And the phoenix is a bird that dies often but it comes back in glory it comes back it dies in flames but from those flames the from those flames forming the ashes the ashes form the seed the seed forms the egg the egg within the egg that greatness of that phoenix is in there and that phoenix is reborn you know what I'm saying? We have to kind of change some of our motifs of how we see the how we see reality. We got to change the paradigm of how we see what's going on in nature so that we can move towards our greatness. And that brings us to what I need to talk about today. He said, Brother Tim, you haven't spoke about what you was going to speak about today? No. Give yourself permission today to be inspiring. Give yourself permission to inspire, not only yourself, but to inspire others. When we are inspiring, we give people permission to change their lives. Now, I'm going to give you a quick story and then I'm done. Uh, not this past Warriors training, but the Warrior training before that. Go back 
and check for two Saturdays ago. I was working with um, um, the tribe. I was working with the young people, and I was working with some of the some of my um, some of my peers. And I started saying the pledge, and my mind went blank. Those of you that speak, you could you can you, you could feel me on this one. The the terror of just a total blank just pops up on your head. Now, first off, you got these people out here listening to you. Second off, you don't even know what to say because your mind went blank and you don't even and at that point in time I didn't even remember what I was doing. And I heard a little voice saying the pledge. I looked to my right and it was my youngest son, Cleveland. And I was shocked because I had tried to get Cleveland to start saying the pledge almost two years ago. When he was, uh, he's nine now. When he was seven, I tried to get him to start saying the pledge every morning. And I just assumed that he didn't. And I just assumed that he wasn't paying attention to me saying the pledge. You know, when I get up and I do it, when he in the bathroom, if I'm brushing my teeth, why he, I'm saying the pledge. You know what I'm saying? I thought maybe he just, maybe he thought I was just a crazy old man talking to myself in the mirror. But when my mind went blank, I looked over and my son, my youngest son, was saying the pledge. Without the paper, this was coming straight from him. When we live our life to inspire, when we live our lives to inspire, we live our lives as if we are being watched. Listen, you never know who is paying attention to what you do. So I'm kind of fearful now because I want you to think about this. If he picked up on me saying my pledge every day, what else could he have picked up on? But I can't concern myself with that right now. I had to celebrate the fact that he picked up on at least one of my positive one positive thing that I did, one balanced thing that I'm doing in my life. And hopefully, hopefully he'll apply it. He'll be able to apply it beyond saving his father's uh, speaking career. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you have to give yourself permission to be inspiring so that you can give the people around you permission to be great. I do this because I want to inspire. I don't want to motivate. I want to inspire. I want to light a fire or at least remind people of the fire that's burning down in them so that they could go out into the world and affect change. So that they could go into their personal world and affect change. That's what the journey is all about. The journey is about being inspired, being, being inspired, and being inspiring. And giving yourself a mission to inspire. Because when you allow your flame to burn, it gives other people permission to allow their flame to burn. As a matter of fact, you become uh, the, 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 the flame that everybody else rekindles their own flame from. So, go out there and, and inspire somebody today. Look in the mirror and give yourself permission to inspire. And know that you're always being watched. You just don't know it, but you're always being watched. This is Brother Hot Tim. I'm saying um, thank you for tuning in. Check me out at www.giamijourney.com. Check out the rest of my radio shows. You'll find them on the sidebar. Most of them. You won't find all of them. Um, but you're going to find all my major shows on the sidebar. Um, also, um, be sure to check out my books, uh, Players Pyramid, Lost Art of Storytelling, Giami Journey Workbook, um, Giami... Uh, Jami Warrior Training, uh, a handbook for life. So go and check those out. Let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you, uh, give me some comments. And I'm praying that your day is as beautiful as you are. With that, I say peace. Now on to folk tales for grown folks.